Connecticut date update. When we talk about weird dating trends a lot on our show. Uh -huh. yeah. And I think it's cool when we hear from listeners who actually try them. Yeah. Like, remember a little while back we had a couple on this segment that did the Target date night challenge? Oh, yeah. I was supposed to do that with my husband and I never got around to it. Yeah. That's where you buy random stuff from Target and then you have to try and figure out how to make a date out of those items. It's really creative and fun. Yeah, except yeah. for the diapers part in that situation. Was still an issue. creative. Yeah. Still creative. What? Or what about the 100 dudes in a 100 hours challenge? I don't... I'm ashamed to admit, what? I only made it to 79. Oh, wow. Before my body gave out. So I'm really disappointed in myself on that one. But one of our oh, listeners boy. says he tried a date night challenge off the internet recently. And apparently it went well, but he would like some help from us today. His name's Rick. Rick, how many dudes did you get through? No. Did you beat me? No, no, no dudes, man. No dudes. Oh. Oh, this was, it was a different challenge then. <laughs> it's just okay. happening. I like it. Uh, all right. What, well, what made you... I'm already going through it, and you guys are killing me. I know. Awesome. Awesome. But before we get to the internet challenge, tell us about the woman that you want us to call. What's her name? How'd you meet her? Her name is Bella. I met her online, and this girl was beautiful. At least, her, you know, her pictures were all night. Yeah. Uh, that's great. <laughs> Bella does mean beautiful, too. Yeah, it does. It, it does. does. I mean, here's the thing. <laughs> when you saw her, what made you want to do an internet challenge thing? Well, the funny thing was, we were trying to figure out a first date. And through the process, I was like, wow, this is going to be awesome. Because we both thought all of the ideas we had for first dates were like crazy cliche and stupid. say that so how did it go i thought it was going to be awkward she found a photographer i went ahead and booked it and we did this shoot in the city and i was crazy nervous but like when i saw her she came out in this stunning dress her oh. hair looked amazing like i mean she was beautiful like i cannot emphasize that enough i gotta That's say great, genius on her part because it is such a good reason to make sure that you up. look like <laughs> perfect <laughs> for your date. You can wear whatever you want, whatever yeah. looks best on you, and be like, well, it's a photo shoot. Yeah, you can wear a ball gown or okay. whatever. What did you wear? What did you I do? wore a nice suit with a light purple shirt with a black tie. Ooh, oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Purple so okay. we were fancy. This we're wasn't casual. Dressing up. All right, so yeah. how was the actual chemistry between you and Bella? I found it to be amazing. Like, you know, as the date went on, we both really kind of relaxed. And I mean, there was a moment where, like, we forgot the photographer was there and we kissed for the first Whoa! time. Oh, you got your amazing. first kiss on camera? I did. <laughs> oh, that's cool. See, now you girls think it's cute. I, I, I never doubted it. I just, like, it's hard for me to be in front of the camera like that. But have you seen the photos? Yeah, yeah. Well, I have the photos and that's kind of the problem that I have oh. she's ghosted me ever since that date oh. and we were supposed to split the photographer and <laughs> I have all the pictures and I have the bill that I had like <laughs> crazy expensive photographers are not cheap professional well, ones at least I mean oh. she, she outright agreed yeah. to split that with you when I was buying them online she was like yeah I'll pay for it and, and or half of it like we were gonna split it Okay. Did you guys do anything else? You go grab drinks or anything afterwards? Well, we went and we had like, there was these street vendors outside. Oh, street uh, meat. Hot dogs or something Yeah, like we that. like feeding each other bacon wrapped dogs and stuff. I thought that one's good in photos. 
feed each other falafels. <laughs> Yeah, where'd you find this photographer? I think this is a okay. kind of like situation. So you said that you've been trying to text her and she's not answering at all. Yeah, she totally ghosted me. Wait, have you like texted her like a sample of the photos? Because she hasn't even seen them, right? Yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. It's like she's got to pay for them if she wants to see them. Oh, like... smart man. Okay. Holding okay. a ransom. This was a lot of money. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, I feel for you, man. Let's play a song. We'll come back. We'll call Bella for you, and we'll try and get you your second date update, all right? Thank you, guys. All right, hold on. Oh, man. The last time I kissed a stranger on camera, oh my gosh. I was dressed as a pizza boy. Really? And they paid <laughs> me. I'm still getting residuals from that. Do you know why? I'm, I'm not sure why. Okay. It was just a fun time. Yeah. It's like a high produced. Uh, yeah. yeah. One of our listeners, Rick, he kissed his date on camera because they hired a professional photographer and did a photo shoot as their first date. Apparently, it's part of a new internet dating challenge mm -hmm. where you hire a professional photographer and you use that as your date activity. Yeah. So they took some pictures together around the city, had a great time, yeah, but afterwards, shoot. not only is she ignoring his text, she also left him with the bill. Yeah, I was gonna say, this is kind of a rich person trend. Yeah, that's yeah. Because <laughs> not everyone Like everybody. the Target thing was more accessible to everybody yeah. when it came to like dating <laughs> ideas. Absolutely. Now, Rick, you said you paid a lot of money. You didn't say the exact amount. You said it was expensive. Can you give us a ballpark? Dude, it was well north of $500. Yeah. Oh, wow. that's what? I, was, I was gonna guess oh, 800 God. Yeah. No, date is worth that. Sorry. Yeah. Well, photo <laughs> shoots are worth that. Though. Yeah, that's true. I mean, the thing is, she must have thought you were cute because it was her idea to hire the photographer even though you paid for it. But after the photo shoot, now she's not calling back. I don't know. Maybe the kiss wasn't good. Maybe your clothes weren't fancy enough. Maybe hey. the street meet wasn't good. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I have pictures. I have yeah. proof. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. That's what makes it so frustrating because it's like the financial thing. Yeah, that's one thing. But the relationship part of it, that, yeah. that's the part that's really throwing me off. So if she agrees for a second date, are you going to still hold her to the bill? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's come on. Be... Dude, I honestly think you should suck it up. If she's like, look, I That's do That's a lot of money, Jose. Suck it up is exactly what they said when I was the pizza boy. Okay. Ah! That's so weird. What a flashback. Wow. Okay. So wow. Anyways, wow. let's just make this phone call to Bella and get to the bottom of this. <laughs> you ready so to do this, Rick? <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. I'm down the number now. Hello. Hi, is this Bella? Yes, this is she. Bella, did you perhaps order a large no. pizza? No, <laughs> no dude. Extra meat? Uh, oh, sausage. I'm sorry, whoa, I'm sorry. You got paid for that? <laughs> that was not sexy, Jeffrey. <laughs> How did you get paid for that? Hello. Okay, so it was good. Okay, I'm sorry, Bella. Um, Hello? Hi, sorry. sorry, uh, sorry. Hi, Bella. I got sidetracked. My name is Jeffrey from the radio show Brooke and Jeffrey in the Morning. How are you doing? I'm um, okay. What's going on? We're doing a segment from our show called The Second Date Update. We're reaching out to you because one of our listeners has given us your number. They're trying to get a hold of you. His name is Rick. I know who you're referring to. Um, okay. I, I don't really want to talk about that right now. Wait, um, no, 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 no. Hold wait. on. Yeah. We're just looking for a short answer to help Rick figure out what's going on because he's really, really confused. Rick feels like he went all out for your date. He paid a lot of money. He had a good connection with you. And now he feels like he's been hung out to dry because afterwards you've completely ghosted. Yeah. Look, I really do feel bad about that. Um, things just happened. But... Can you give him an answer? I mean, do you have a why? Like, could you imagine being in his place? Like, you'd be totally confused. This guy kisses you. He mm -hmm. is apparently attracted to you. And then nothing. Like, just I... silence. Like, Nobody wants to be ghosted. It sucks. Yeah. Honestly, the time we had together was great, and it was a lot of fun. Um, I did feel a connection with him, but things have changed. Uh, what? What? What do you mean? I mean, are you in a relationship? Is that what you're saying? Because, I'm sorry, if I went and did a full photo shoot and I looked so good, like he said you did, I would definitely want to see the pictures. Yeah. And you haven't even seen the pictures yet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm just, I'm going to sound like a terrible person if I say this. Well, oh, it's yeah. okay. We're all terrible people. <laughs> yeah. So we won't judge you. You're, yeah, you're in good company. Totally. Oh, gosh. Well, I actually knew the photographer.
photographer. Right. He said you you were the one that recommended the photographer, so that makes sense. Is it like a friend? So he he was my ex. Ah. Oh, uh, that's interesting. Some more. Why things. would you do that? <laughs> uh, I know. I I was missing him a lot, and oh, oh this, this is going. Uh oh. And when I met Rick, you know we the idea of doing something different for our first date and when the idea came up to do the photo shoot my brain was just like what better way to kind of get back at my ex and so you know I sent Rick the link for his photography page to book him and to try to like make him jealous and wait so your ex even agreed to it because you had Rick do the booking yes yeah, so oh my god so that's you showed sweet. up and your ex had no idea it was going to wow. be you until you were there Right. Oh, that is brilliant. Wow. That is whoa. <laughs> hey, this is like... <laughs> we're not judging. We're terrible people too. Okay. Smart. I mean, I know. I told you it sounded terrible. I know. So what? But... Did, what did your ex boyfriend say when he saw you show up for the photo shoot? I mean, he was jealous. He was yeah. definitely holding it together, but I could tell like he just was pissed. Wait, I mean, how did it never come out during the day? I mean, you even kiss Rick. I know. So there was one time when, like, Rick actually went to the bathroom, and my ex was just like, "How could you do this to me? Like, why are you doing this?" Yeah. And I just I played dumb and I told him that I didn't know that Rick had booked him and that it just happened oh, to be no. a coincidence because I couldn't tell him. Obviously, I would sound like I'm crazy. Oh, you didn't even well, tell him. There's a reason. So you were lying to two men at yeah, once. Yeah, that's what uh, I was thinking. You know, it just it happened all so fast. I don't know. It happened so fast. I mean, this thing that you planned <laughs> out for months, the entire photo shoot. <laughs> That's so. Wait, are you with your ex now, or what happened there? So after the date, he texted me, and we talked, and I mean, long chat short. I mean, we're back together. Oh, oh that no. is not gonna work out, Bella. Oh, oh, this photo is going to waste. Oh. So you have seen the photos. You can just look at his computer. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I actually have seen the photos. I do really look good in them, and I do love them. Oh. I, mean, I can't post them now. You can maybe crop them out. I You've got to pay the full price. You don't get half now. you got to pick up the whole bill. Oh, that is messed up, Bella. Seriously, yeah, that's no. really low. And the fact that you wouldn't even say anything to Rick, like not even say, hey, by the way, I, I just can't see you anymore. Yeah. I do feel bad, but I don't know. I didn't want to kind of admit to that well i mean if you could say yeah. one thing to rick right now what would you say and think about it for one second because i need to let you know you actually get to say that rick <laughs> is on the other line listening and wants to talk to you Oof. wait what yep, yep. <laughs> ricky there oh yeah uh -oh. Oh. He oh he sounds pissed oh. he's always got lower so what did you want to think what'd you want to say bella what's your one thing you're going to say to rick <laughs> Rick, look, I'm so sorry that you had to hear it, I guess, like this. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I didn't know how it was going to, you know. I just what do you mean you it. didn't know this was going to happen? You <laughs> planned for this to happen. You sent me the link. Oh. You are sick in the head. Yeah. And oh. not only do you not have to worry about paying half the bill, but you can tell your little punk boyfriend that he can eat the Oh. oh! I don't ever want to wow. hear from you. You can go drop dead. Oh! Okay. Wow. Okay. Oh, Date wow. maybe a little too far. I, I'm. Too far, gosh, though. I'm sensing that there's still some sort of connection. Okay. Between them. <laughs> wow. It's, it's, a, it's emotional. I mean, oh, Bella, yeah. you've got to understand he's angry. I mean, you he has knew. The right to be. I'm mean, definitely I, I, passionate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rick, I totally get you're angry, but like it was a first date a photo shoot and like i mean for to wish me to drop dead for something no like no it's not it's, 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 no it's not a first date it was a manipulative play yeah. it was nine hundred dollars so you can make your boyfriend jealous there was never any shot at it mm -hmm. so you know what forget you forget him i'm out oh, oh dang oh, bro geez. so at this point i would like to ask bella <laughs> Will you go? No. You are all Am I reading this right? Yeah, yeah, you are. Keep okay. going. Continue. Bella, would you like to go out on another date with Rick? And here's the great part. No, none of you have to pay for anything. We'll pay for the date. Thanks for the offer, guys. But definitely 
No, like... Well, why not? Why not? Oh. Stop it, Jeffrey. Oh. Stop yeah. it. Okay, it's, I mean... Well, don't do that again, Bella, okay? Seriously, what Just... did you learn? I mean, I'm glad that I didn't call him back, honestly, because if we were to go on a second date... Like, the way he just blew up like that, that no. could have happened later in the relationship. <laughs> yeah, I don't no. think that that's what you should have learned, Bella. Oh, I think there was a bigger sure, bigger yeah. lesson we could have taken. Yeah. Yeah. She got a boyfriend. hey <laughs> <laughs> Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning.